Hello everyone. Um, so for this video, I want to show you the new addition made to um, the last update of Star Wars Redemption. So first of all, um, we have now some options if you have some um, vision deficiencies. So um, a few people um, asked me to to implement this um, I thought it was something really complex to make and um, it, it turns out um, no it, it was quite quite cool so um, now you can choose between uh, these three options so you have the uh, Theranop, Protanop and Tritanop so each of these uh, corresponds to different um, case. So if I'm correct, uh, do turn up is for uh, green uh, weakness or blindness. Pro turn up is for reddish um, red uh, values and uh, tree turn up is for uh, blue values. So, um, but of course I, I guess you know uh, which one you should use if you if you suffer from this. So I hope this will make the game uh, better to, to those of you who, who have these um, vision deficiencies. Else you can keep the normal mode to stay in normal mode. Um, these options uh, are of course stored in the saved uh, data of the game. So if each time you parameter your, your game and uh, close it and restart it, uh, the values will be uh, reused. So it goes the same for the uh, DLSS, the settings uh, here, the, the global quality of the game. Um, just a little point about the um, uh, Ultra vs uh, vs Epic. I turned quite off the Ultra mode, uh, so if, if you try to activate the Ultra, uh, you won't see any difference, and that's just because the Ultra um, mode was not uh, clamping the VFX particle systems um, by distance. So on some levels, um, you could just see tons of uh, those particle systems, and they cause some performance, uh, bad performance uh, issues. So I uh, actually I turned this off uh, until I find a proper solution. So. So you won't experience the game in a uh, bad uh, frame rate. Um, also, all these uh, parameters here, so the Padawan, Jedi Knight, or Jedi Master, you choose from, um, depending on how you feel with the difficulty, are uh, reg registered. Um, so if you choose one, close the game, restart it, you will uh, keep the difficulty uh, set up. Um, same for these checkups, same for the audio settings and the uh, gamma and resolution stuff. Um, but I also added a way to, if you want, uh, quickly reset to different values uh, those sliders. So you have it for uh, the audio settings, but you also have it for uh, the gamma and the resolutions. But we'll see this um, in a later time. Also now is a volumetric lights on the um, Force Ghost. So you can see them a bit better, especially when it's um, um, night time. Um, but um, I've, I've found out the, the game was quite uh, too bright uh, with emissives, etc. So I turned down a lot of uh, shaders effects. So you have um, more subtle um, glows. If you compare Force Ghost um, with their uh, old visual look, uh, you you will see that um, they they have a more uh, skeletonish um, visual, and you also see better the pulse effect um, on them. It's it's a really uh, little detail, but uh, that's something that I really. Um, care about. You also have, as you can see, um, some time of day uh, 
in just now. So now it's um, quite the morning, I guess. Uh, so you can see a big um, god rays, sun rays. Uh, so um, earlier I talked about the uh, gamma and resolution sliders. So uh, for instance, if you were like, okay, I want to adjust the gamma setting just to test it, and you, you're like, uh, where the, uh, do I need to go to find back the original value? Um, it could be quite uh, annoying. So you have now this reset button to, to reach this. Uh, same for the resolution, if you want to downgrade the resolution. Um, so you have a uh, faster running game. So basically it, it renders less pixels so the game can appear uh, uh, more fluid. But at the same time uh, it's, it's more blurry. So if you want to go back to the original, you have also this reset button. Another detail you may notice um, is how the, the game looks a bit more magical. So if you go in these um, light bulbs fields, you'll see some um, particles flying around you. So as you can see here, it's much more magical. And I won't spoil you, but if you go to the cave with the big uh, forest tree, it's really, really, really a magical place now. So now another point is that the dash attacks um, or moves, if you prefer to call them this uh, way, um, they have an uh, auto parry um, property. So this means if you dash in front of an enemy, of course. Uh, all the shots that come to you will be parried, but um, in random direction, until you force uh, the parry yourself. I found that the previous dash attack was quite um, punishing if you didn't knew uh, about the, um, the, the fact that you could combine the dash with the parry impute. So, yeah, if you... If you dash, no, it's okay. If you dash um, with this attack, okay, which is a dash uh, internally, um, all the shots will be parried um, around you, but in random direction. If you activate the parry while you are falling like this, and then the attacks coming in front of you only will be uh, sent back to your opponent. Um, I would like also to point uh, one thing, because I'm, I'm not sure a lot of you are aware, uh, aware about this, but you can shift uh, the camera position to experience the game differently. So using the um, I, J, K, L uh, key on your keyboard, you can change where the camera will uh, be positioned. And uh, yeah, this can give a um, more dramatic angle to, to look for, um, look from, sorry, um, when you play the game. So it can feel maybe more aggressive. So now uh, let's take a look at the new um, shaders for the planets. The first point I wanted to uh, rework was how the lighting was affecting the planet. So to do this, um, I just changed the, the way the, the, uh, the planet could be masked. Uh, yeah, so it's basically not using the lighting directly. Um, of course, you can still see the sun hitting the surface right here. Um, but yeah, the um, shadowing here is made entirely in shader, so uh, I can decide where I want to see the planet, where I want to see the emissive if uh, I have so. 
uh, if I have some, sorry, uh, like uh, the city lights uh, and fluorescence, etc. And I can specify uh, where I want to have the uh, horizon uh, atmosphere fell off. Uh, so this allows me to, to have this uh, look. I think, I think it's better for the player to uh, just figure out where he is um, in the battlefield. So next we will see um, the new engine uh, look. So if you look at the back of the Venator here, you can see some uh, blue glowing uh, effects. So this way you can really uh, feel um, the engine's power and, uh, and life at some point because it's a, a pretty much a static object. And here now it, it's, it's really living, it's really cool. Also when you go uh, near a, um, one, of the, uh, one of these uh, engines, you will see that the Andrain actually emits light to your uh, Starfighter. So it's a really um, subtle detail, but again, it's something I really care about. So, yeah, you have it uh, behind every uh, Andrain of the the Star uh, Destroyers. So if you head over the Lucio Hulk uh, Andrains, or uh, maybe a acclimator uh, down there you will have these uh, effects and uh, yeah this give really more life to the um, star destroyers also uh, we have now uh, new effects when uh, some big blaster shots uh, hit their um, uh, goal okay so the the new addition the modification maybe it's Better, um, is how the VFX uh, is made. So when a uh, big blaster shot hits uh, the Star Destroyer, you, you have a better uh, feel of the volume uh, of the uh, explosion. Then we have new uh, kind of missiles uh, for your Delta e, um, Starfighter, so this one. Just because I wanted to have something really different for this one, uh, so yeah. And I liked the uh, you know Tree Fighter uh, droids um, missiles we, we had in uh, Battlefront 2 from uh, 2005. So yeah, I wanted to just implement this at some point. So now here is um, how it looks. On Nabu. So it's really more um, believable. Like you have this uh, dark area here, and then slowly uh, entering the light, the Luke Hulk and Giants. You can go inside of it if you want. It's not dangerous at all. Not yet. Maybe one day. And also, Space Fractalium has changed a little. So I kept the original idea of having a um, greenish um, atmosphere with um, reddish tones on the ground, I guess. But since the shader has uh, changed a bit, I have now this uh, transition between uh, lighted uh, planets, so here, and um, the, the darkness part of it which is a bit more logic, uh, same for the clouds, and uh, they disappear slowly when they fade into shadows. And last but not least, we have Coruscant. So it's really uh, interesting to see this uh, transition. So you, you can see some of the city lights here. Um, the more you will go into the shadows, the more you will see those city lights. It's yeah, it's a uh, detail again, but one I, I I needed to take care of. We have some acclimators uh, effects here. Uh, I also wanted to point out uh, a um, little 
um, quality of life edition, which is their um, memorization of um, parameters player want to have uh, when playing. So if you don't want to play with the uh, HUD, um, like for example like this, um, you can disable this uh, using the, the uh, star shortcuts, multiply shortcuts on the numeric uh, keyboard. Um, if, if you want to see uh, how to do this, you can access the controls of course, so don't hesitate to take a look at this section. It's really important uh, if you want to know how the game works. And you can also modify if you want uh, to change, let's say, the gamma here and maybe the resolution. This. Um, so all these parameters um, will be remembered from one game session to one uh, to another. So, um, and it will also be maintained across levels. So it's really cool if you want to take uh, screenshots of the game. Um, massively I would say and, and you don't want to set up the same uh, visual settings every time every time you start a game or every time you restart um, a uh, level because it was the it was the case before but uh, yeah now it's really uh, stored every time and it's the same with uh, audio settings so if you cut the music for example, because you want to play with, uh, I don't know, um, some of your favorite songs um, when you play the demo, or maybe you don't want to to get uh, um, demonetized on YouTube, for example, and each time you stream the game, you can cut the music uh, once and then just play without the music uh, every time you launch the demo. So it's a really much more convenient uh, settings, I guess. So I really hope um, you, you learned a few things about the, this new version and you like this. Um, if you want to try it out for yourself, don't hesitate to download the, the demo again. Um, I'm sorry for this uh, update uh, process, but uh, yeah, for now this is the only way to, to update. See you in the next video and uh, take care guys. Bye bye.